Learning science is fun. Let's learn science with Daisy and Vaughn TV. In our previous video, we discussed the parts and functions of the male reproductive system. We also learned that the male reproductive system is responsible for producing sperm cell, which is the male reproductive cell. In this video, we are going to learn the parts and functions of the female reproductive system. And at the end of the lesson, we are going to have a checkup quiz to check on your learning. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel Daisy and Von TV for more videos weekly. And don't forget to like, share, and comment your suggestions below. Our objective for this lesson is to describe the parts of the reproductive system and their functions, specifically the female reproductive system. Are you ready to have some fun in learning science? Let's go and explore the parts of the female reproductive system and their functions. The egg cell is the female reproductive cell. This is the biggest cell in the female human body. The female reproductive system is made up of several organs which include the ovaries, fallopian tubes, uterus, and vagina. It is responsible for producing egg cells and supporting a developing baby inside the mother's womb. The egg cell is only one-tenth of a millimeter, about the size of the diameter of a hair strand. The illustration shows the parts of the female reproductive system. Let's talk about the ovary. The ovary produces egg cells as well as the female sex hormones estrogen and progesterone. Female humans have two ovaries. About 70,000 potential egg cells are already present in the ovaries of a female when she is born. However, only about 500 of these eggs will mature. The mature eggs are released one by one every month once the female reaches puberty and until she is about 43 to 55 years old. The mature egg cell leaves the ovary through the fallopian tube. The next part of the female reproductive system is the fallopian tube. The fallopian tubes lead the egg cell from the ovary to the uterus. This is also the usual site of fertilization of the egg cell and sperm cell. Female humans have two fallopian tubes, each connecting to an ovary to the side of the uterus. The uterus is also called as the womb. The uterus is a hollow muscular organ located at the lower abdomen of the females. It has soft, smooth inner lining called the uterine lining or endometrium. This lining becomes thicker as it accumulates blood and nutrients to accommodate the unborn baby as it develops. It is also the site where the fertilized egg is implanted. If the egg cell is not fertilized, together with the uterine lining, it will break down and is discharged during menstruation. Menstruation is the process in a woman of discharging blood and other materials from the lining of the uterus at intervals about one lunar month from puberty until menopause, except during pregnancy. Menopause is a stage in life when you stop having your monthly period. It's a normal part of aging and marks the end of your reproductive years. Menopause typically occurs in your late 40s to early 50s. Next is the cervix. The cervix is located at the lower part of the uterus. It is a narrow opening between the uterus and the vagina. During childbirth, it expands to allow the passage of the baby. Next one is the birth canal or the vagina. The birth canal is a hollow muscular tube that extends from the cervix to the birth canal opening called vulva. It expands to let the baby pass during normal delivery. Let's have a short recap of our discussion. First, the egg cell is the female reproductive cell. Next is the ovary. The ovary produces egg cells as well as the female sex hormones called estrogen and progesterone. 
The fallopian tubes lead the egg cell from the ovary to the uterus. This is also the usual site of fertilization of egg cell and sperm cell. The uterus is also called the womb. The uterus is a hollow muscular organ located at the lower abdomen of the female. The cervix is located at the lower part of the uterus. It is a narrow opening between the uterus and the vagina. During childbirth, it expands to allow the passage of the baby. And the last part is the vagina or the birth canal. The birth canal is a hollow muscular tube that extends from the cervix to the birth canal opening called vulva. So, that ends our discussion about the female reproductive system. But before we end, let's check your learning. Please identify the female reproductive parts through its given function. Are you ready? Number 1. A tube that leads the egg cell from the ovary to the uterus. Again, a tube that leads the egg cell from the ovary to the uterus. If your answer is fallopian tube, you are correct. Number 2. A hollow muscular tube that leads to the vulva. Again, a hollow muscular tube that leads to the vulva. If your answer is birth canal or vagina, you are correct. Number 3. A narrow opening between the uterus and the birth canal or vagina. Again, a narrow opening between the uterus and the birth canal or vagina. If your answer is cervix, you are correct. Number 4. Releases the egg cell and hormones like estrogen and progesterone. Again, releases the egg cell and hormones like estrogen and progesterone. If your answer is ovary, you are correct. Number 5. Shaped like an upside-down pear. It is where the fertilized egg cell develops into a fetus. Again, shaped like an upside-down pear. It is where the fertilized egg cell develops into a fetus. If your answer is uterus, you are correct. That's all for the female reproductive parts. I hope that you learn a lot from our discussion today. For the next video, we are going to talk about the menstrual cycle. Why do females have menstrual cycle and why does it happen? If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational videos like this. Please leave a like or share this video and comment your suggestions below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.